No, 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 no. We don't shake hands here. Just a precaution. Hmm. A precaution. Uh huh. The Stand is getting a new TV adaptation and a new ending from the master of horror himself. Here's what we know about The Stand so far. Stephen King's 1978 post-apocalyptic novel about the chilling aftermath of a deadly virus may sound a little too real these days. Most people are going to think they've got the plain old non-lethal flu right up to the very end. But the, um, good news is that our current crisis is much less horrifying than the one being depicted in the upcoming CBS All Access limited series, where 99.4% of the world's population has been wiped out by a man-made plague. <gasps> In the novel, which King previously adapted for a four-part miniseries on ABC in 94, the few survivors with immunity become split into two societies. The first group, united by the spirit of a 108-year-old woman they call Mother Abigail, seek refuge in Boulder, Colorado. Meanwhile, in Las Vegas, a messiah known as Randall Flagg creates his own society, crucifying those who oppose him and setting out to kill everyone in Boulder. As the two sides clash, the faction in Boulder anxiously awaits the birth of Franny Gold Smith's baby, whose immunity, or lack thereof, may determine the future of humanity. If we tell you how the book ends, we could spoil some seriously good TV in this 10-part series, although King was brought on to add to the ending. I was never really totally happy with the way it ended, wow. because the, the main characters, Stu and Fran, never talked about what happened to them after they left Boulder, Colorado. Right. I always wondered about their trip back. Josh Boone, co-creator of the All Access series, has been working on this adaptation since 2014 after directing The Fault in Our Stars. It was originally planned as a feature film, or four, but eventually found a better home as a 10-hour event series. Co-created by Boone and Ben Cavill, a veteran writer known for Justified, Homeland, and SEAL Team. Casting began in August with James Marsden and Amber Heard. Marsden is playing Stu Redman, the character portrayed by Gary Sinise in 1994. Stu is one of the novel central protagonists, the first man proven to be immune to the virus. Heard, meanwhile, will play Nadine Cross, a conflicted woman who joins the group in Boulder first, but finds herself lured by the powers of Randall Flagg. I'm one of those lucky people with a little psychic twinkle. To find its charming, devious dark man, the show turned to Alexander Skarsgård, casting the Big Little Lies bad guy to play one of Stephen King's worst villains. Fulfilling a decades-old dream, Whoopi Goldberg will be playing Mother Abigail Fremantle. Now I'm actually getting to do something I meant to do 30 years ago. Assassination Nation star Odessa Young is playing Franny Goldsmith, the expectant mother played by Molly Ringwald in the original miniseries. And Heather Graham will play Rita Blakemore, a wealthy socialite who's ill-equipped for the end of the world. Care for a ride? Ooh. Ooh. Oscar nominee Greg Kinnear will play Professor Glenn Bateman, and Nat Wolf reunites with his Kill Team co-star as Lloyd Henry, a violent offender who Flag takes under his wing. Ah! Ah! The show wrapped its production before the real-world pandemic began to close down Hollywood sets and is still targeting a 2020 release date. But enough about viruses. Check out this cute cat. Ah!